Hello again children. Welcome to story time. I have my special friend Spencer with me again today. Say hello Spencer. Now today Spencer and I are going to read you The Gruffalo. Now I'm sure you all know The Gruffalo. The Gruffalo is a book that has been written by Julia Donaldson, that's the author. And the pictures of the Gruffalo here have been drawn by Axel Scheffler. He's the illustrator. Okay, so right, we'll read that in a minute. But I want you guys to go and get your special friends, just like my Spencer here, and your nice comfy cushions so that we can begin our story. Have you got them? Ready? Brilliant. Now, last time we met, I asked you to be good girls and boys for your grown-ups. So will I ask your grown-ups if you've been good? Grown-ups, have you been, have your children been good? Oh, bravo! Well done! Very good. I'm very pleased to hear that you've been good for your grown-ups. So are you ready? I am very sure that you have some wiggles in your bum. And you have some jiggles in your shoulders. And you have your jumpies! So we need to get rid of those. Are you ready? We're going to reach for our balloons. Put your hands out in front of you. Oh, it's got hair on it. Ready? And reach up, 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 and grab the balloon and pull it down. Down, down. sing another song before the story. This one is called Peel Banana. If you know it, sing it along. Are you ready? Hold on to my banana. Are you ready? Peel banana, peel, peel banana, chop banana, chop, chop banana, eat Banana, eat, eat, banana. Are you ready to go, bananas? Go, go, bananas. Did you know that one? Should we do it again? I think my little helper behind the camera has got the giggles again. Ready? So get your bananas ready. <laughs> ready to peel banana, peel, peel banana, chop <laughs> banana, chop, chop banana, eat banana, eat, eat banana. Are you ready to go bananas, go, go bananas? Very good. Hopefully now, all of your wriggles and giggles and jumpies have gone away. So now we can sit and listen to the story. Are you ready for the story, Spencer? You are? Right, let's get the book. Right. Nice 
nice and comfy. Here we have the story of the Gruffalo. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no. I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favourite food is roasted fox. The roasted fox, I'm off, fox said. Goodbye little mouse and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? to have tea with a Gruffalo. Oh, a Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you snake but no I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? A Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. And he has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. And away Snake slid. Silly old Snake, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffle? Oh! But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes. And a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. And look, he's got purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a gruffalo! Mm. 
My favourite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone's afraid of me. <laughs> All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. <laughs> you go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why Snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the tree's head. took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more to the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why Fox? Hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me, but now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favourite food is Gruffalo Grumble. Gruffalo Grumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. Well, did you enjoy that? You did? I did too. I like the different their characters in that book, and all of them scared of a little mouse. Or so the Gruffalo thinks anyway. So, have you all got your pillows? So shall we do some sleeping bunnies? Okay, lie down. Lie down, Spencer. Here we go. Close your eyes. Have you got your eyes closed? Good job. the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall I go and wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop, hop little bunnies, hop hop hop, 
Hop, little bunnies, hop, 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 hop. Well done, guys. Well, thank you very much for uh, reading the story with me today. I think Spencer's had a good time, and I hope you have too. So I'll see you next time when we read a new story and maybe some new songs. Okay, mwah. Bye.